Yes, you're tuned into the Jay Sutton Show live from the sidelines of the 2023 Chester High School homecoming football game. I am going to be playing sideline reporter throughout the game, a little play-by-play. -play. Also, I will have live interviews. Hopefully, I think I have Coach Shaw of Chester High coming to be interviewed by yours truly for a pregame interview, how they really do in the NFL. Now, this is my first time doing this. I have always wanted to do this. Disclaimer, I am a half a doobie in. I am a half a cup of coffee in. I am a breakfast sandwich from Wawa. Shout out to that turkey sausage from Wawa. It's pretty tasty. Uh, I don't know what they put in that croissant, but it's the perfect amount of butter. Also, I am one Mike Tyson edible bite your ear off candy in. So who the hell knows what I will talk about? I don't know, but you will soon find out. Now that we have you here, I just was checking to make sure that we were still recording because my screen changed. This is my first time doing this, but I know as you're listening, you're like, this guy's a natural. Of course I'm a natural. I am born for this. Let me give you a view of the football field. As you can see, we have the opposing team warming up with the stripes in the middle huddling. Hopefully they aren't conspiring to blow this homecoming game for the Chester High School football team. Uh, led by Coach Shaw, uh, the dynamic quarterback, who's also a twin who has a dynamic amount of speed on the outside. We also have one of the top tight ends in the country. As you can tell, I am not familiar with the names, but I know the faces. This makes it so much more interesting. Uh, again, please stay tuned. We will have live Jeopardy being played in the streets where I asked a contestant three questions. All they have to do is answer. What will they get? We don't know, but it's time for a shameless plug. I'll turn around now, and if you peep the back of my hoodie, it is the Jay Sutton Show hoodie with this year's edition, with it being on your back instead of the front. Yes, the label is on the back because the Jay Sutton Show has your back whenever you're in doubt. Uh, it's filling up in here. Coach Shaw! Coach Shaw, is there any chance I can? I, go, I just got him. Yes, we're live. I'm glad I turned around. I, ca I, ca I turned around just in time to catch Coach Shaw going back to the sidelines to coach his team up. Coach Shaw, how does it feel to be at homecoming 2023? Uh, it feels great. Um, the environment is always what it is. We know what it is. So it's a great time for the city to come out. It's a great time for the kids to perform in front of the entire city, man. We're going to have some fun. Okay. Uh, is there a certain game plan that you have prepared for the opposing team? Um, respect every opponent, but we're going to come out just try to run the ball, get the clock running. Um, our running back is about, I think, 150 away from 1,000 yards. So What's his name? Deshaun Jackson. We call him Ghost. So he, he's, a, he's a 150 away from 1,000 yards. Um, only in the seventh game, so that's what that's what that's what we're gonna try to get. To. That's big time. Uh, could you please shout out the quarterback, the, the twins, and the tight end because I want them and and whoever's other standout yeah. that I need to look out. Yeah. So obviously Jalen, all state quarterback, his brother Duran, uh, who just got his first Division one offer as a sophomore, which is huge. Um, Dom, obviously, uh, Power Five D one recruit. Um, Jarrell, who's our sophomore linebacker, leads the uh, District Five, uh, District Five A, and tackles. Um, we rolling, man. We rolling. Okay, one last question. Two-part two question. How does it feel to be the head coach, and how does it feel to be a Shaw? <laughs> uh, uh, it feels good to be a head coach, man. This is my ninth season here. I'm um, not getting caught up with titles, but it feels good to lead the pack, um, showing, showing guys that's in my age bracket and setting the example like, yo, bro, it's, 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 it's actually cool to do something like this. It's actually okay to be a coach like it's, it's cool to do it yeah. and also setting a precedent to show other people like yo we got to hire young yeah. we got we got to hire young yeah. so that's a big component and uh, i take pride in that uh being a shaw is brutal <laughs> ah thank you coach i'll talk to you appreciate it that was coach shaw live on the jay sutton show you know you only get this type of access with me the mayor of chester i'm going to take a little break and we'll get prepared for the kickoff see you soon uh we have Former Coach Bell, also one of the top guys in Chester High. Come on over here, Coach. 
I still call you coach because you'll always be a coach. You have a few words to say to the people at the Jay Sutton Show tuning in. Listen, just want to say uh, thank everybody for supporting our uh, programs. That's what this truly is about. Just thank you for supporting the programs. I hope everyone has a beautiful time today. God bless you. That was that was his way of getting out of here before I can ask about the ten dollar charge that everybody's complaining about in the city. <laughs> we catch y'all. We catch y'all. The wind picked up here at Chester High football field, and I had to throw on the Jay Sutton Show new edition on the back because I have your back. If you didn't know, I am Jay Sutton, and you know I told you I have all live interviews here from the Chester High School Homecoming 2023. And what's a Jay Sutton show? And what's a uh, what's an event in the city without the greatest event man in the world, Mr. Yes God? I have the pleasure of having Yes God TV come on to the Jay Sutton show. Absolutely, it's an honor, man. All right, I, I hope you're not too tall. I know you're a little tall. I probably should have. We're we're at a six foot one height, not a six foot five height. So, but. You get the gist. Uh, how is it being here at the game this year? I think it's uh, it's great, man. You know, I was here when it all started back in uh, 2015. It's when you know homecoming picked up to to how it is, all because of the class of '99 with the tailgate. So it's just like another year of capturing uh, greatness, man. Just saying, everybody come together. You know, you got people flying in from Atlanta, from you know that people that you know went on and you know moved out the city, but to come back, you know, it gives that whole um, HBCU feel, man, and it's just amazing. It's a it's a lovely thing. Just just with all the love that's in the air throughout the day, I wish we could get more of those people who come to tailgate inside of here. They totally missed the point of selling the tickets and coming to support the kids. But all in all, we're here with love. Yes, Scott, I just wanted to get you on. Thank you for coming here, and we're playing. Yes, what you are watching now is the gathering of the Chester High School football team ready to roam for their food it's a hunt for the chester high school homecoming game as they run through the paper they didn't tear the paper i don't think they knew that they were supposed to run through and tear it but it's okay these are the chester high school cheerleaders and they're ready to root on their classmates we have the sensational quarterback We're waiting. Uh, a little bit of confusion here on homecoming Saturday. First play. This kid reminds me. Oh, up. Oh, there is a yellow flag. I think we have a holding and a blocking in the back, I'm sure. We will see. Deshaun Jackson with the carry. I think it will be called back. Shout out to Steve Berman because I'll be echoing his sentiments with the names of these players. I'm no good at it, but it's like cheating on a test. And guess what? I'm all here for it. I told you I seen the flag, and I know from the from the beginning that it was a uh, holding on the offense. So we're here lined up. Again, this is the Jay Sutton Show, reporting live from Chester High School homecoming, where Chester High is facing off against Pinwood High. I hear they suck, but around here it's any given Saturday. I know I just adopted any given Sunday, but that's what you got to do. It's the Jay Sutton Show. All right, we'll get one more play, and then I'll stand in front of the camera and talk to you guys. I w I'm right behind the referee. This kid really reminds me of Lamar Jackson. Jalen almost with the f with the first down. Yes, as you can see, Chester High is off to a slow start so far. I'm speaking to people who's walking by. Hopefully, they'll play Jeopardy later. Everybody is enjoying seeing me on the sidelines because this is what I do. I entertain. Oh, uh, as I'm sitting here shameless plugging myself, they're running football, please. But we're not here for that. We're actually here for my commentary and looking at all the old high school girls and what they look like now. I'll just say that. 
I'll just say that. Some of them, some of them. Most of them look good. Most of them look good. But it's not just about the women. It's about the guys who let themselves go. We don't focus on what the women are doing. I like to attack men. Why are these guys just graduating from high school and becoming fat and rotund? Am I not supposed to say fat and rotund? I'm just saying. You guys have been out of school for a long time. You shouldn't look like somebody's clumps. I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that. Uh, okay. We just missed the play. I'll get back to the game. While I was gone, you didn't really miss anything. Penwood had the football, didn't make many yards. So now they are punting to the Chester High School football team, and hopefully we can make something shake. I'll stand to this side, so maybe, you, I'm not sure if you can see the game, but it really doesn't matter. You're here for me, <laughs> and me only, right? Here's the punt. It's a beauty. It's a beautiful punt. They just let it bounce. It's down by the Penwood football team. You're tuning into the Jay Sutton Show, uh, live from Chester High School Athletic Field, the newly named Benny Wright Athletic Football Field. Well deserving for this field to be named after the GOAT of said field. Yes, I'm a bit of a historian when it comes to Chester. I know who's who and who's not, and who I am, which is the greatest entertainer this town has ever seen. But that's a story for a different time. I'll turn around and peep the game a little bit. Hopefully you guys can see it. Again, it's not about that. It's about my beautiful, crispy voice coming across like I have chocolate in my vocals. Number two, oh, he gets tackled. May have picked up about five yards maybe. Maybe five yards was picked up. The crowd is filling up and it's looking beautiful on this Saturday morning because it's not quite afternoon. It's 11-12. It is 11-12 here at the Chester High School Athletic Football Field. Let's try to get a play in. Jalen, the quarterback, snaps for the ball. He sizes up. Oh. Almost picked off, almost picked off, but almost isn't good enough. But if Jalen keeps flirting, eventually somebody will tag that ass. It's a more, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a more uh, vulgar way to say that. But for the kids' sake, I'll say that. Let's see if we get another play. Not much moving of the football, so hopefully we can get some, some yards. Okay, Jackson, Jackson picks up. Jackson runs for a first down. He at least picked up 12 yards on that play. Deshaun Jackson. We're driving. We're currently driving, which is a good thing because losing on homecoming sucks. All right. Another run up the middle. Oh, I think he's gonna get that record that, I believe Jackson will get that record that Coach Shaw was speaking about earlier on the Jay Sutton Show. If you heard it in the interview, I said, I think I said, or I should have said that he was gonna get it. But it's okay. We'll take another break. We had an unsportsmanlike flag thrown on the play, which has brought Chester back a few yards after gaining the first down. You talk about the good with the bad and the yin of the yang. I had nothing else to say with that, but it's okay. We're just doing this. It's our first time live from a football game. I pretty much enjoy this. Let's see if we can get a live touchdown. Every time I try to record and watch the game so you guys can peep it, the referees are jacking wreck off. All right, we're at live action. The quarterback, number three, drops back, gives a pump, throws it in the air. Up, oh, too much, too much. And it was actually too much 
on the camera movement because I wasn't looking at it. Again, this has been a long time since I was recording and uh, talking at the same time. But it's fine. We'll get there. The referees are taking their mighty old time walking the ball to line it up. We have second and 10. Chester High on the move. We're just waiting to see more. I promise you guys, I would love to get a live, live score, and I'll go crazy. Oh, the handoff. Jackson runs. He's hitting the sidelines. He cuts up. Breaks, sheds two tackles. He's still up, guys. Yeah. That guy Jackson is pretty good. He is pretty good. I think he's going to break that record. Deshaun Jackson. What a beast. What a beast at the position. What a beast. I'm sure you can see in the backdrop we have the Commodore Barry Bridge, a staple in the city of Chester. I'm not sure how the wind is doing on this, but I'll try to cover it up a little bit. This is fun, though, and you guys are going to enjoy this episode. Hands off to Deshaun Jackson again. This time he carried a man, broke one tackle, and gained three yards. Beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. We have more people coming in and, and coming to enjoy the festivities. Have a little, let's see if we can give anybody a shout out that you may be able to see over there. I don't see anybody right now, unfortunately, but it's fine. Let's stick with the football game. I am Jay Sutton. I am reporting live. I know my voice is buttery and chocolatey as the buttery chocolatey mountains of buttery chocolatey. Nyreen Melvin on the gets his first carry of the morning. I can't wait till I can say afternoon because it's hard watching a football game in the AM as opposed to the PM. But yet we are here and I am live on the field. As they check on the player, I'll step back in front of the camera. As the referees check on the hurt player to make sure he's okay. I am here to let you know that the Jay Sutton Show hoodie that you see me now wearing, I wish you could see it better, but I'm a one-man army and I am controlling the camera and working the microphone at the same time. Pause. That sounded a little bit freaky, but this isn't a freaky situation. Um, oh, yeah, this hoodie that you see me wearing with the Jay Sutton Show logo, logo on the left chest plate and on the back we have the Jay Sutton Show logo because this year, I have your back. This is me selling the hell out of this. There's Sam Boom. Hi, Sam Boom, how are you? I'm all right, Sam Boom. That's Sam Boom, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is pretty fun. This is what, th let me tell you this. This is why I'm the mayor. <laughs> There's a, there's a chat, hey, class of 2000, how are you, Tiff? We're just doing shout outs in the middle of this. Oh, the whole time we just missed an entire play, but it doesn't matter. We're here for me. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> we're here for the children. We're here for the kids. That's who we're here for. And the Jay Sutton Show. We're definitely here for the Jay Sutton Show. Oh, I was still shamelessly plugging. That's a touchdown. Uh, that's a touchdown. I really should be down that end. I really should be down. I'm going to I'm going to relocate and go down to the end zone that I'm supposed to be in. As you can see, I relocated to the opposite end of the end zone, which is more up close and personal. Unfortunately, I just missed a touchdown by Chester High School, but I'm sure that's not the last one that we'll see today. All these boys are dogging. These dogs are hunting. 
I'm sure Chester High will be scoring in a very, very short time. And I will be here live on air to show you and give play by play. Right now, Pinwood is being held to zero points. Chester High is currently leading eight to nothing. It is two minutes and 55 seconds and counting left on the clock, as you can see back there, but I'm sure you can't. Let's see if we can get a live play going on. We have the quarterback of Pinwood receiving this hike. He keeps a keeper. He cuts up. Oh, he is still running, and he's still running, and finally he's brought down by a Chester High School football player. You're fine, my guy. You're fine. That was a strong gain by the ball carrier. I'm not sure how 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 much better relocating to this end was because the wind is currently kicking in the south end of the football field. I'm not sure if I am in the south end, but for this sake, we're in the south end. But that won't stop me from reporting live. Pinwood is taking a mighty long time getting their play in. Whoa, we almost lost the camera. I think we need we need some sandbags. Whoa, this wind is kicking. Yeah, he smashed in the backfield. Pause. Why don't announcers say pause on air? I think they should. I think it's a lot of things said on football games that could be paused. But I guess they don't play that. Yes, the loner is loaning. Chester High is, it's currently third and five. So if we get a stop, they will assumably, assumably be punting. I think I said that word right. If I didn't, it doesn't matter. The Jay Sutton Show is streaming everywhere on YouTube and SoundCloud and Apple Podcasts and Amazon for your viewing and listening pleasures. Everything link in bio at I am Jay Sutton. Spell out the J-A-Y and please don't forget the S-U-T-T-O-N. It's still the first quarter. Uh, Pinwood had picked up the first down. This wind is kicking. I know it's gonna sound bad on there, but I'm still gonna put it up. Oh, he's sacked. You guys missed that play. Over there, you can see a flock of people, old and young, here to enjoy the festivities of Chester High School homecoming. I hope you, are, you guys are all being safe. And had I known I would have been able to park all the way up here, I probably would have parked all the way up here. Yes, we have a few ugly people. If you are on this shot, I am not talking about you being the ugly person. I'm talking about somebody else who's next to you. I'm just joking. This is just content. This is just so you can watch. I am Jay Sutton. Please tune in. Link in bio. Unfortunately, I just missed a live block punt. So Chester is going to get the ball sooner than we thought here in the end zone. I'll move up closer so we can get a good, good shot of the live action. You're tuning into the Jay Sutton Show. We have T-Bear walking across, and we also have Yescott in the end zone. This should be a pretty easy touchdown to gain for the Chester High School football team. I'll move back because I never want to be in the way. Sorry for all the movement of the of the... I want to look at this live. As you can see, the quarterback is about to receive the shotgun hike. He surveys the field, gets the ball, hands off to Jackson, who is carrying five people into the end zone. 
there he's down on the one or the two yard line. So Deshaun Jackson is a pretty pretty big back who reminds me of Beast Mode. Yes. Tacklers shared from him. Let's see if we can get a live shot of a touchdown. There it is up the middle. And he fumbles the ball. Fumbles the ball in the end zone. Unfortunately for the Chester High School football team, they turned the ball over in a bad place on the football field. That may give Pinwood a little bit of momentum to get back into the game, but I'm pretty sure that Jackson, as you can see, he is not feeling himself. I think he's a bit down because he fumbled. And normally when you fumble, you want to fake an injury so that somebody can feel sorry for you. But no, kid, you have to hold on to that football. You're too good. We count on you. Way to, way to, way to, way to pick up his head, guys. Way to, that, now that's team chemistry. Let's get back to the live action. So here we go. We have the Chester High School cheerleaders coming up right now. I'm sure they're about to have a cheer off eventually. Yes, a long lineage of Chester High School cheerleaders. I'm sure their moms and their aunts were also a part of the Chester High School cheerleading squad. Yes, yes, yes. As we wait for Pinwood to snap the ball. Yeah. Yes, yes, guy. He fumbled the ball in the end zone, which makes it a touchback as you touch his back. It's a touchback for a touchback. We have him touching his back because we just had a touchback. Yeah. We have a touchback for a touchback. Yes, Chester High still leads 8-0. to zero. Ten minutes left in the second quarter. Second down and 13 for the Pinwood. Can't remember their names. They're not good enough to remember their last names. That's not good. I call them the Crusaders just for crusade take. We have a, we have a good stop in the backfield. Hopefully we can get – oh, you guys weren't even watching. I should, do a, I should do a better job of showing you guys the game. This is going to be a dandy. It's going to be a dandy editing. And I can't say that I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to see you guys' reaction to it. I'm sorry for the... Uh, Silence. I know I'm not supposed to give any dead air, but I'm sure you can hear the background of the wind blowing, which is a beautiful sound and is very relaxing. A lot of people fall asleep to this sound. Quarterback, he scampers. I think at halftime, halftime we'll do a little bit of J And uh, yeah, I think that's going to be pretty cool for us. I have some females participate in Jeopardy because they're the funnest. Yes, we'll take a break. We don't really care about Pinwood's possession. We got to worry about Chester High getting the ball back and making up for that turnover, which was terrible for the school. I think every running back in Chester history is now sad. And now they want to put their cleats on and relive their Chester High school glory days when people cared about them. Now they're just people who cut boxes and deliver babies. And I'm not talking about being doctors. <laughs> that was a cheap joke that I just thought I was going to fly. But this is what you do when you watch a football game. You say the most entertaining thing that comes to your mind. Yes. As I look, oh, let's get a shot of the crowd. It's a beautiful crowd. As you can see, the stands are full for the Chester High School football team this year. I guess having to buy a band actually worked. See what you can do for $10? You can pack out an entire bleacher. Look at all that orange and black, the beautiful sea of orange and black as we get back to live action on the football field. You're tuning to the Jay Sutton Show. Please 
Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube page. This is a punt. This isn't a punt. This is a punt. I am recording. Oh, we may have a return. And he hits the outside, number seven. He has a, a sea of blockers, and he runs in. Get me right here, right here. There we go. We got a live touchdown by number seven here on the Jay Sutton Show. It doesn't get any better. It gets no better than watching a punt return here on the Jay Sutton Show. As I give you play-by-play, -play, I think that was about a 35-yard scamper. I'm waiting for Dave Berman to, to say his name. He hasn't. Great blocking. And of course we will go for two because Penwood is sweet. I'm glad I didn't stop recording because that would have been terrible to not have live on the Jay Sutton show. This is gonna be a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful event. Let's see if we get a live two-point conversion. I'll back up so we can see the full play. Number three is in the backfield as he takes this shotgun hike. Claps his hands. He surveys the field. A little floater. Oh, and it's a touchdown. Hey, that's beautiful, kid. That, that's beautiful, kid. That's a beautiful. Hey, hey, Jalen, you sure can't throw that ball, kid. What at, where else could you get this type of live action here on the Jay Sutton Show? We got my main man, Skipper. There we go. We got Skip. He's live. Yes, 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 yes. That's my main man, Skip L.U. Chester High fame. We have a live action, live touchdown here on the Jay Sutton Show. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Yes, what you just witnessed was a live punt return and also a live two-point conversion with the quarterback throwing a dime to the corner of the end zone where the receiver caught it for the extra two points. It is the Jay Sutton Show. Where else could you get this type of live action with play-by-play -play in the city of Chester on the Chester High Benny Wright Athletic Football Field in 2023? Reporting live from Chester High School homecoming where the wind is kicking and I took a shit this morning. I didn't have anything else to rhyme with it, but you know, I probably should cut that out, but I probably won't because it's live and this is what I do. Let's get back to a little bit of live action. Trust I gains possession back. They're currently leading Penwood 16 to nothing in the second quarter, six minutes remaining. Let's see if we can get another score here live on the Jay Sutton show. Quarterback steps back. Up, sacked in the backfield for a, a huge loss. Huge loss for the offense. I think we're about to have a cheer off. Uh, we are live with the backdrop of the Commodore Berry Bridge, one of my favorite sights to see in the city of Chester. If you come to the Benarite A Field, athletic field, you can get a beautiful shot from atop the bleachers over there. Back to live action on the football field. Hands off the ball to Jackson. Jackson breaks two tackles. The theme of today is Jackson breaks two tackles. Oh, that was Naeem Melvin on the carry. I'm sorry, who is also from the lineage of great running backs in the city of Chester. Yes, Naeem Melvin Sr. was something to behold holding that football. Very fast, very low to the ground, such as his son is, who is only... I believe a junior, I want to say he's a junior, if not a sophomore. Uh, here on the Jay Sutton Show, we don't do too much. Um, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? Too much homework on the football teams. We just show up and hit record, and that there is when you get the best out of me. Yes, we have a timeout on the sidelines where both teams are discussing the game plan for the last five minutes of the game. I'll show you the score if you can see it there. I'm not sure if you can see it. Hopefully you can. If you don't, it says 16 to nothing. It is 39 for the Chester High School football team. And they were, they were driving before, but 
with the play before this, I believe he lost at least four and a half yards from my eye sight from being afar. Uh, hopefully we can get the ball snapped and we give a little play by play. Again, this is always the time to shameless plug. Please come to the Reality Check Comedy Show once a month at Liberty Tavern, where I host a beautiful, wonderful vibe of all vibes. The quarterback steps back, throws to the All-American tight end, who is catching up, who's still running, and I'm sure this flag is going to be for maybe a hold or a block in the back. I'm not sure, but hopefully it doesn't negate the entire pickup that was gained by Toll. I went to school with Toll's mom from grade school to high school. So shout out to Shawana Smith, the mother of the Toll tall kid, wearing number zero, who has many, plenty of D1 offers. If I'm not mistaken, he may have committed to the University of Connecticut or the University of Rutgers. Don't quote me again. I don't do my homework. I just show up to the game and I hit record and I talk my talk. A reality check comedy show once a month. Please follow me on I am Jay Sutton on Instagram. Just Jay Sutton on Facebook. And please subscribe to all of my podcasts and my outlets for social media. Back to live action. The quarterback sizes up. He throws it. He hits number five on the sideline. Ah. Uh, he couldn't bring it down. Uh, we'll get him next time, Melvin. We'll get him next time. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, oh, I didn't even look it. It's depressing on the sidelines of the Pinwood High School. I don't think anyone knew that they were playing this football game because that does not show that their mother and father loves them because they're not here supporting their kid. Unless they're sitting over here amongst the beautiful Chester High School crowd. We'll look at the depressing side. We'll look like the exciting side. Exciting, depressing, exciting, depressing. Losers, winners. Back to live action where he's punched the ball. Uh, it's not a good punt, but hopefully it'll get some bounce and roll downed on the 32 yard line shout out to shout out to Berman who's keeping me abreast on all of the players downs and spotting of the football he has no clue that I am cheating on my test right now <clears throat> let's see if we can get another score before halftime you're here on a Jay Sutton show. This will be live like Monday Night Raw or Sunday Night Smackdown. Why am I using wrestling metaphors for a football game? I don't know, but here we are. Back to live action. Let's move out. I really don't care about Pinwood's possession. This quarterback... He throws a good ball out of bounds. Like his, his, his throwing ability of throwing the ball out of bounds is beautiful. Like the spin that he has on the ball as he throws it out of bounds is beautiful. He throws a beautiful out of bounds ball. We don't care about their offense. We're going to take a break. We're back to live action. It's still 16 nothing. three minutes remaining. As you can notice, I am not recording Pinwood's offense because – there is none. So you'll just see Chester High's offense live in action, and hopefully we get another score before the half ends. Let's see. Let's zoom out a little bit. There we go. Let's find the ball. Here's the ball carrier. Ball carrier brought down. Great tackle by Penwood's defensive player, number one. It's a cool number. We are waiting for another live hike. 
It's taking a long time. They're currently calling all alumni cheerleaders to the concession stands. Some of them probably shouldn't go. Ha, <laughs> cheap joke, but, but a good one nonetheless. I don't mean it. Everybody's beautiful. Everybody is. Nobody ever talks about skinny women. Skinny women. I don't want anybody to talk about the skinny women out here. They go unnoticed. They stand next to a tree and no one pays them any mind. That has nothing to do with anything, but we are live. As you can see, we may have Braggs the Baller walking across the camera. There's Braggs the Baller. Braggs the Baller, wave to the Jay Sutton Show, Braggs the Baller. Wave to the Jay Sutton Show. There we go. Braggs the Baller just wave to the Jay Sutton Show. We have back to live action on the football field. Let's zoom in a little bit. There we go. He surveys the field, st brings it back down. Ah, oh, he's still he's still running around, and he sees Tall, and Tall grabs it for the first down, I believe. Beautiful play from Jalen to Tall. And the quarterback is only a sophomore. The kid is only a sophomore, Mr. Jalen Green. Finds toll for the first down in the pickup. We're driving, trying to get a score. It's one minute and 28 seconds remaining, and the time is ticking. So let's hopefully we can get a, a touchdown before the end of the half. Jalen drops back, steps forward. He sees toll. Ah, oh, close but no cigar. Hey, Tall. Tall, say, say what's up to the people, Tall. This kid has gone places. When you score on this next play, Tall, come to the camera and wave to the people. We know you're going to score. Oh, he just took himself out. I guess he's tired. He, he doesn't listen to Kevin Gates. One minute and 11 seconds remaining. Quarterback is in the backfield. Slaps for the ball. Hands the ball off. Number one. I believe we're about to see a live touchdown. A live touchdown here on the Jay Sutton Show. It's a beautiful thing. We have a player down. In the meantime, I'll get in front of the camera. Uh, it's almost halftime, one minute and seven seconds remaining, 16 to nothing. Chester High School leads this homecoming football game, which is a beautiful thing for beautiful people. I showed you the sidelines of the Pinwood uh, team, and there's nobody there. I don't think nobody told their parents that they were having a game, unfortunately. Yes. Oh, we're back to live action. Let's see if we get a score. Back shoulder, touchdown. No. On the one. Here we go. We're here on the one. One minute and two seconds remaining. Want you to see the full play, Jalen. Slaps for the ball, hands the ball off, up the middle, number one, carries it in for the touchdown. No, no touchdown. Sorry, I'm mis misrepresenting the call. But this is beautiful. Let's get close up to all these, these athletes. The, only the Jay Sutton Show could bring you live play-by-play -play action from the sidelines, the end zone, where only winners play. There you go. Back out. Hand. Got a touchdown. That's easy work. As you see, Coach Shaw over there giving the kids. We have another score. It's 22 to nothing here at the Benny Wright Athletic Football Field. 
where you have play by play by Jay Sutton and the Jay Sutton show. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Do something with the algorithm. Let's see if we get a live two point conversion because we don't kick field goals in Chester, we only score. I, I, I believe a fade is coming. I told you, here's the fade. I called the fade and I got the fade. Yes, I'm not new to this. I am true to this. I called the fade and I got the fade. And I'm glad I have that recording live on the Jay Sutton Show. Somebody needs to hire me. Dave Berman, who? Uh, we're back to live action at the Chester High School 2023 homecoming game. field where the Chester High Clippers lead Pinwood. 24 to nothing. Yes, you heard it correctly. My favorite number, 24 to zero. Some may call that Russell Westbrook-like. <laughs> Cheap jokes are good. Uh, yes, we're back to the second half. Uh, Pinwood is currently uh, about to hike the ball. I'm not sure if you can see that. I really don't care. I just wanted to intro that we were back to ha from halftime. I uh, hope you enjoyed your halftime show wherever you went. I know it was quick. 